Now, hey everybody, Richard here from Driving Horizons, and today we are going to be exploring Long Down Activity Farm. And real quick before we start here, if you like this video, why not go ahead and click that thumbs up button? And if you really like the video, head over and subscribe to the channel. And no camping this week, but we are going to learn a lot about Long Down Activity Farm, so let's jump into it. Parking is in a car park across the street, so be sure to take care when crossing the road because it can get quite busy. There is a farm shop here that you can access without having to pay the admission price, and there'll be more on that a bit later on. And where we are not only has a lot of animals to view, but they also have the opportunity to get up close and personal to the animals. At our time of visiting, they were not allowed to hand out flyers about the activities due to COVID, so I recommend taking a quick photo of the activity times. And if you forget, there are a number of these boards dotted around the farm. It's worth making note of the ones you do want to do so that you don't miss them, as each one only happens once or twice a day. We got to check out the animal encounter, the duck feeding, and the bottle feeding the baby goats, and there's more on that coming up. And it doesn't take too long to walk around the farm, and here are a selection of the animals we saw. checked out a guinea pig super cute and great fun to see them scurrying around there must have been oh, I don't know at least a hundred in two huge pens quite a few were babies so it's really fun to check out these little fur balls and we also checked out the pigs in their pens both inside and out they were quite content relaxing around and the younger ones were even having a little bit of a rough and tumble and some play fighting. The cows we saw were out in the same field as the tractor ride and were causing a little bit of a nuisance blocking the tractor and having to be moved on a couple of times so that the tractor could go around the field with its passengers aboard. Next up with the goats, they were enjoying themselves climbing on the benches and trying to eat most things, uh, although it would help if they didn't sit in their food bowls. And while we were there, we were lucky to see lots of babies um, for lots of different animals, including the goats. They also had a few alpacas in one of the barns and it's interesting to see a bit of a different farm animal than the usual cows, sheep, goats, etc. Let's check these out for a few seconds. There were of course a few other animals that you can look at. They had rabbits and ducks and chickens and things like that. These tiny little baby goats. Aren't they just super cute? Little baby chicks, just been born. And of course they had horses and, and donkeys and things like that as well. But I think our favorites were definitely the guinea pigs and we are thinking of getting a couple for Maybe they can't Max as a family pet. They need to be uh, kept in pairs at least because they enjoy each other's company, we've been told. So if you remember earlier, I said you could interact with some of the animals, we are going to show you that now we went into the animal encounter barn we bottle fed the baby goats and we also fed the ducks and that's coming up we decided to do the animal encounter barn first because that was happening just as we get got there uh, we entered the barn and we were asked to sit in a certain place and in normal circumstances they would let you hold the animals and stroke them and stuff like that but on this occasion they wanted to keep them in a basket on your knee, which was fine, but it still meant we could get up close and give them a little pet and stroke them gently. And while we were there, we had the pleasure of stroking the baby chicks and the guinea pigs. Uh, 
Now we're gonna go and feed the goats. So we could have had a few bottles for this. We chose just to take one bottle for Max and the goats were super hungry as you can see and it didn't take long for them to polish off the whole bottle. And this was pretty straightforward, you get a big cup of feed and you put it through the big hole in the fence and the ducks just dive on in and without scaring them away they have their food. do for the kids to keep them entertained besides from the animals there was a putting mini golf type place called the pitchfork and putt comedically named I'm sure you'll agree lots of obstacles to get around there's mini tractors for the younger ones to have a pedal on there's obviously a play park with lots of climbing and trampolines and slides and Plenty to keep the young ones entertained right by the queuing for the tractor rides. And here is the tractor ride, which is probably our most favorite part of the activities here. Take care, it is quite bumpy, so make sure you hold on tight when you're on there. Doesn't look too bad now, but trust me, it is a little bit bumpy. GoPro stabilization. farm shop we didn't buy anything on this occasion but lots of good stuff there they have all the things you can see here um, fresh produce and meats and vegetables and fruits and stuff so plenty to choose if you wanted to stock up while you're here there's also a shop where you can buy feed and supplies for your pets and animals as well so all in all, a pretty nice way to spend a few hours and we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more uh, UK travel related videos and we'll see you in the next one.